Mountains, News Radio 550 WSVA. We're very pleased to bring you as our next guest today, Mr. Dennis Matranga. He has written a political commentary on being an American, and it's not exactly uh, politically correct. It is called American Me. Uh, Dennis, you're a realtor by a profession, is that correct? That is correct, Mike. Uh, how does a, a realtor all of a sudden become a political commentator? Well, let me say I, I was a, uh, actually a corporate marketing rep for about 20 years before I semi-retired. And I actually wanted to write this book probably about 20 years ago and uh, never seemed to have the time. I actually comment about that in the book as well, but never seemed to have the time. So uh, when I started uh, the real estate thing and going off on my own, I just kind of started taking my notes and uh, researching and started writing the book and just finally got it done. It took me about three years, but I did finally get it done. So I thank the real estate business for giving me the opportunity to write the book. The question I have for you is when you started the book and the way things are today, aren't there some uh, pretty big changes in all that? Well, the, the common theme of the book is, is the same, Mike, and yes, there has been a lot of changes. And actually, during the last edit, which was here recently, mm-hmm. we did have to change some of the things to uh, reflect the current times. But the basic theme of the book is the same. Uh, it goes into just all kinds of things about the bailout and our government and big business. And uh, it just, it's, it's pretty in-depth, and uh, I did have to update it because, I, like I said, I started about three years ago. So there were some things when the uh, publisher took a look at it. He said, we need to update this, this, and this to reflect the current time. So at this point in time, Mike, it is current. But, of course, that changes on a daily basis the way things are going now. Well, yes and no, unfortunately. Uh, I'm a, a big fan of the melting pot. Unfortunately, that seems to have been thrown out. Is that the way you feel? Um, I do, and there's actually a chapter in the book about immigration. Uh, first, let me say that my grandparents were off the boat, direct from Italy. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think a majority of true Americans, which is what the book is about, uh, are from you know foreign ancestry. But there's a difference in that philosophy uh, from years ago and the philosophy now as far as immigration goes, and the book does address that. In, in, Why in did that way. happen? Why did that happen? Well, I would say that, um, you know, God, boy, that's a big one there. Um, you know, uh, not controlling the borders. You know, I, I guess it, it's simply put, when our ancestors and our forefathers came over here, uh, you know, generations ago, They had to come here basically legally. They had to come here. There were certain steps that they had to take to come to America and to become an American. And I think that most of that has just been thrown out, 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 you know, out with the the trash. Basically, all in the name of being politically correct would be my opinion on that. You ask an interesting question. We're talking to Dennis Matranga. The name of the book is American Me. If you have a question, 433-WSVA-540-433-9782. Do you really want to be an American? That's a fascinating question. Well, and there is actually a chapter in the book, Mike, that addresses, first of all, the definition of an American. And uh, do you really want to be an American? First of all, are you an American? Have you ever really been an American? And do you really want to be an American? Uh, The question, do you really want to be an American, would go back to, you know, do you want to pay the price that true Americans have paid to be an American, or do you just want to say you're an American? Uh, See, part of the problem is... People who've died in wars, you know, we we work, we pay taxes, there's just all kinds of things... uh, American society as a whole is being degenerated by, you know, people who, I guess, don't want to be Americans. They want to come here, but they don't really want to be Americans, I guess is my point. You know, part of the problem, Dennis, is that uh, uh, there are a lot of folks who may be second, third, fourth, fifth, tenth, eleventh generation American who are not willing to play by the Founding Fathers' rules. Uh, A, they resent the fact that they were Founding Fathers instead of Founding Fathers and Mothers. They resent the fact that uh, uh, that capitalism has been the way of America since uh, the earliest of days. They resent a lot of the things that, when I was growing up, were just, you know, expected of Americans. 
Well, and, you know, I think, uh, and I do address that in the book as well, Mike, I think that our, our values have been deteriorated. And I guess, you know, a good way for me to put that would be you can't be every, if you try to be everything to everybody, you can't really be anything to anyone. And I think that the core American values that we grew up on, and I'm 50 years old, but, you know, I've seen a, I've seen a big change in my life, even at 50. Um, but those core values that we grew up on are pretty much non-existent nowadays. And some of, some people may, you know, agree that that's a good thing. Personally, I don't agree that it is. I well, think it's what made then the let me ask you, what happened, Dennis? I would, uh, one of the things I address in the book is being politically correct. Um, and interestingly enough, when I researched that, Mike, politically correct, being politically correct, is basically an American uh, ideology. It's not even acknowledged in other countries. And in the book I wrote, you know, Americans, true Americans, we're supposed to just kind of shut up and look the other way while everybody else does what they want to in our own country. And there's, there's multiple examples of how, you know, when an American stands up and says, hey, you know, this is what I think, they just they get shot down because it's not politically correct or they're offending somebody or somebody doesn't like it. Yet on the other side of the coin, we have people from multitudes of other con- uh, countries in our country that feel like they have the right to say anything they want to. So well, I think you know, the interesting the thing problem. about that, by the way, we're talking to Dennis Matranga, the name of the book, American Me. You see, the question till uh, still, there, you know, a lot of immigrants, I'm a child of immigrants, I'm like yourself, and my parents became fiercely American, and I consider myself fiercely American. My question is, what changed? How did it change? I mean, we all know this is not the uh, country we grew up in the 50s and in the early 60s. Was it uh, the baby movers? Was it the, uh, the, uh, the rock and roll? I have a friend of mine who says rock and roll changed everything. Uh, I have uh, friends. I mean, what, what did it? And well, how do we get it back? Well, and I address a lot of that in the book, and that's a very complex question, Mike. Um, but I think that once they, first of all, I'm going to say that Americans, and I'm guilty of this myself when I was working for corporate America trying to keep up with the Joneses, they got to have a bigger house, more cars. I was too busy. You know, I was too busy, and I could sit and, and complain and watch the news and talk about how bad our politicians are, but I never did anything. And the reason that I wrote this book, Mike, was to try and unite the truly American people in this country who actually care about its future and care about our children's and their children's future in their own country. So, there's a, I mean, boy, we could talk about that forever, about what happened, because obviously everyone would have an opinion, just like the guy with the rock and roll. Um, but in general, I think, you know, we are partly to blame ourselves as Americans for sitting idly by watching it all happen, which is, I guess, what prompted me to write the book. Well, I'll just remember, back in the American Revolution, only about 30 percent of the people were involved. And that's, that really hasn't changed over the years. It well, really I, hasn't. That's the irony. Yeah, it is the irony, but the, and, and the, the book really addresses a lot in the book, Mike, is the American middle class. Okay, the American middle class, first of all, we are the largest resource for our government as far as income goes. We're also the largest population base in the country, yet we always seem to get shafted every time we turn around. There are multiple, upon multiple examples throughout the book and all the different chapters and all the, the different perspectives of what the chapters cover, but basically the American middle class is the one that's, you know, being just, you know, beaten down and, and, you know, all their rights taken away. Well, we pay taxes and nobody else does, blah, 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 I could go on and on. But basically, we are the largest uh, population in the country, and it, I, I feel like it is our responsibility to try and get things going back the right way. Dennis, uh, now the, we uh, we're about out of time. The book is not out yet, right? It is actually available on ebook, Mike. Okay. And it is American Me, question mark. It's available on Amazon Kindle, which is Amazon.com forward slash American dash me. You can also go to the publisher's website, which is CreativeHousePress.com, and read a sample chapter of the book, which is an introduction. We also are taking pre-orders on the uh, first press limited edition copies, which will be signed by me. And last but not least, you can go on Facebook and just uh, type in American Me question mark, and there will be a Facebook page as well. Dennis uh, Matranga, good luck with the book. Thanks for joining us.